Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Tracy Ken, uh, Tracy underscore Ken from Nyambohanse, Kenya. So I'm feeling all the way from Ayamaro's Villa. Wow, look at that. Isn't not amazing? I don't know if there's a lot of reflection, but you can see that. See that amazing, amazing, amazing villa. It's just still coming into shape uh, a lot of things are still going on and good things and I can't wait to uh, to show you the end but still there are a lot of things going on and we can't be able to uh, to film the the interior of the of the of the villa but if I get a chance of course I'll do that and so um, at the moment I'm still enjoying this amazing amazing compound Look at that. I don't know if there's too much reflection on my camera, but uh, there's a lot of reflection. But you can still see that this is what is going on. A lot of people are here relaxing and shooting and giving you updates of what exactly is going on in Ayamaro's villa. And uh, I'm feeling much better. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, Okay, yesterday, the last two days, uh, I had a cough <clears throat> and flu. <laughs> so, but uh, I can still, I, I feel, I feel better right now. But I'm still under medication. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your support. So, in today's episode, I want to fill him. Uh, 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 something to do with a fish pond. Uh, because as I told you that the villa is being surrounded by uh, a fish pond uh, from behind so and right now it's not yet ready but there's a fish pond just nearby where uh, the preparation is being done before they move everything to the Ayamaro's uh, fish pond so <clears throat> uh, I'm looking forward to uh, shooting that today and uh, telling you the updates telling you guys what is going on but for the meantime this is what is going on for the meantime this is about it right now so see you in a bit hey guys welcome back guess you are here in maize plantation and on this side it's a river so I'm heading to the fish pond and I'm with my guy over here. You can see him. So here we are. We are, we are the best. Man. We are the best. This is the best. This is the best. Man. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. Okay. How are you? Introduce yourself. Okay, it's underscore Gintu, which is the G I N T U. Yes. It's underscore Gintu. Uh -huh. Yeah, I am just a, a fish farmer. Mm -hmm. Uh, from uh, around this village, okay. whereby I, I am beside I am Maru as a, a villa, mm -hmm. whereby uh, even the idea of uh, uh, getting a new model of fish pond uh, at I am Maru's site, mm -hmm. it was just mine, mm -hmm. whereby he came here and he saw what I was just doing here, mm -hmm. so he was just interested of uh, uh, having even him to have uh, the tilapia fish, uh, uh, fish ponds uh, whereby I could be the managing person who is just managing because uh, I have idea of uh, fish farming by the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how long have you been doing farming, fish farming? Fish farming, uh, it's like uh, five years. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five years. Five years? Yes. Wow, locally, just locally, right? Yeah, I, uh, my, my market was just a local market mm -hmm. whereby if uh, you want uh, to get more of uh, the customers, mm -hmm. you have to start from the local market whereby they can now export you to the other market whereby it may be the class or uh, your product, uh, how the yield you have uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the quality. Okay, yes. So, have you been doing fish farming in large scale or just was just a small pond that you've been because I'm seeing you have like three pots yeah, here? Yeah, there are three ponds here. <laughs> the, you can see, guys, there's yeah. uh, this the big one, and yeah. then there's another one up there, and, and then, then there's the another one, one up there, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. this one was the first one. Mm -hmm. So, as I, I just uh, uh, 
a dug here. Mm -hmm. It was just dug by people, so not a machine. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, it's just 25 meters by 15 meters, which mm -hmm. is the length and the width. And mm -hmm. it can just withstand the installation of 2,000 fingerlings, uh, 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 which will be just installed here. Uh -huh. So, but it not it's not yet uh, installed because I have, um, it was just renovated some um, three weeks ago. Okay. So I'm just uh, uh, relaxing so as I can just wait water to come out, mm -hmm. so it can just be full. Mm -hmm. So as I now start fertilizing the fish pond. So let me ask you, yes. just uh, to get uh, everything clear. Yes. So uh, when did you build the fish pond? I mean, like, what's the procedure of uh, digging out, digging and you know, leveling everything to be set and doing the process of until you start fishing now? Okay. Can you explain to me what is the procedure? The how, start, eh? if I want to do fish farming, yeah. how how should how should I go about it? Okay. Mm -hmm. You. The only thing is just you select uh, a place where you know it has the natural water, mm -hmm. or if not natural water, you can just have an inlet, mm -hmm. uh, whereby. But uh, and to my fish here, mm -hmm. fish ponds here, mm -hmm. uh, I rely every every fish pond here rely on its own natural water that's just uh, popping out from uh, the surface. It's like Whoever, a spring. Yeah, it's like a spring. Okay. So this water table that is just uh, here, it's over zero level. Mm -hmm. It's the same same table to Ayamaruas Villa. Right. So we mm -hmm. are lying at the same table. Mm -hmm. So you select a place where you know this place. Uh, is a is a, a water source by mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. so as you can now bring the experts who can now just uh, come and measure mm -hmm. and we'll just tell you it will it will not just move towards the river because as you can see these are uh, fish ponds now approaching the river because uh, that when i just constructed this uh, fish pond mm -hmm. uh, the river was not so expand it was expanded the oh, way it is. Right. Uh -huh. so it was somehow, so with time, some, uh, with time because small. of the erosion and yeah, all because that. of the erosion and mm -hmm. uh, uh, flooding and uh, so many people have just constructed so many houses so mm -hmm. water accumulation is uh, of a, a, a huge or some amount of water that's just passing through here mm -hmm. so as you can see it the river is just approaching uh, the fish ponds here mm -hmm. so but uh, before the river is over there guys yeah it's mm -hmm. just called the river youtube <coughs> the river youtube <laughs> yeah it's just baptized that the river youtube by the way. Yeah. it's a famous river by the way uh, of course yes <laughs> Uh, most of the people who have channels in YouTube, they know that river. They know that yeah. river. It's river YouTube. So, so even me, I'm just lying be, beside the river YouTube. In the river YouTube. Yeah. So uh -huh. uh, that's the protocol when now you have just selected a land mm -hmm. where you know you can it's just specific of a water source mm -hmm. so you can just uh, rely on the manpower not on the machine mm -hmm. so if you select uh, it's baby you can just select uh, either the manpower or the machine mm -hmm. uh, regarding to, to regarding the, uh -huh. regarding your pocket money right whereby if you have good or some amount of money you mm -hmm. can just uh, uh, dig it out using the machines mm -hmm. but uh, the people are just uh, normal local people who are just uh, hustling to get mm -hmm. they can just use the manpower whereby it's a use of a uh, uh, spade and uh, and uh, and, uh, and the jambe mm -hmm. the only thing they are just using so so how deep should it go it's just a uh, one this one yeah mm -hmm. uh, most like, uh, most no, of the tilapia fish uh, uh, fish ponds uh -huh. they go up to one and uh, one and a half a meter a uh, meter down yeah oh. just one and a half a meter okay so it will depend on the size of the the fish pond you are just going to create so if we are just going to install uh, what we call the catfish i don't know if you know the i know catfish, the catfish yeah uh, the, cat, the, the catfish, catfish yeah. yeah i know so, they're they a little bit bigger compared to the tilapia but they look like snakes yeah they look like snakes yeah, yeah they they look like uh mm -hmm. they, we have a uh, mud fish we have the catfish all yeah? oh, right yeah, yeah the mud fish mud just fish, uh, yeah. black blackish yeah but, uh, blackish uh, yeah. The, the catfish is i think i was confusing greenish. the catfish and the mud fish i yeah. think i've seen the mud fish is black slippery yeah. and kind of big yeah yeah yeah, yeah. somehow big mm -hmm. but uh the catfish are so big uh, and uh, greenish yeah uh, somehow oh, right. somehow greenish greenish in color uh -huh. uh, so if you're just installing the tilapia fish mm -hmm. you should have at least um if uh, it's just a pond a standard pond like this one of 25 meters by 15 mm -hmm. uh the what the the depth should be around uh, 1.20 meters uh, deep so so the depth depends on the kind of fish that the, you the want kind to of the installation keep. of fish you can oh, okay. just uh, right. install so mm -hmm. if it's just catfish mm -hmm. you can just uh, have a depth of uh, 1.5 
meters deep because uh, we have uh, a reason behind it. Uh, the catfish have uh, to dilute their waste, you know, they, they just um, give their waste uh, uh, to water mm -hmm. as a, a, a recycle. Yeah, sure. Right? So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, to dilute that waste they are just removing, you should have good or some of them, amount of water mm -hmm. that we just dilute so they cannot suffocate with their waste here. So, you should have uh, the more the dirt, the more the water accumulation, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. So, that 1.5 meter is um, whereby now you can get good or some amount of water which is huge mm -hmm. they can just withstand that so if it's just the lapia fish they don't have so much uh, uh, things to do with the the, uh, the death but uh, the thing they need is just the space okay so if they have a space like this one the here width, uh -huh. yeah, so you can just uh, the most uh, good thing is uh, they mm -hmm. need a good space whereby every fish here has uh, around uh, two meters uh, square mm -hmm. so as it can just play and rotate around mm -hmm. so as you can have good yield mm -hmm. produ produced from the farm so let me ask you a question <coughs> yes so you you say that uh you have to dig or uh, depending on you you the talked about you you said you talked about yeah the type of fish you also yes. talked about the waste right yes. the waste accumulation yes so what happens if there's a lot of waste in the pond how do you uh remove it how you how you don't you able remove it because it's just soluble oh the waste is soluble oh so they're it soluble so yeah, with it's dissolved with water uh -huh. so that dissolution of uh, that waste uh, the catfish waste with mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. so it will just uh, uh, be so much accumulated that the water uh, the water level mm -hmm. whereby now they'll just uh, you the consumption rate you know they breathe through water yeah, they sure. get uh -huh. so that waste will be accumulated in water so breathing will give it uh, a, a very uh, inhaling will be uh, a problem to them uh -huh. so that's why you are just uh, told so as if water can be so much it will now dilute that uh, waste and waste. it will not uh, have any harm uh -huh. so it will now and you as you know the catfish are at the bottom feeders uh -huh. uh, yeah, they're sure. not like a, uh, the, the tilapia fish that are top feeders so uh, that waste accumulation as you know mm -hmm. if you can just throw here some uh, maybe cow dung mm -hmm. it will now it will go deep to the surface mm -hmm. so those catfish are always uh, at the surface of water mm -hmm. so that uh, if uh, they just uh, remove that waste it's just uh, the waste is accumulated at the ground mm -hmm. so now to dilute that waste it's from down and they stay down there so mm -hmm. if it reaches up uh, that dilution is just over so they stay with the water as uh, it is now which is uh, a fresh water so the huge the, the the amount of water depends on the what you are going to install I see i see yeah. so let me ask you so what are what are the kind of fish that are being uh installed i don't know if that's the right yeah, word or being reared in the, in the fish ponds okay okay like uh like uh this uh, uh it's called uh a lake region here mm -hmm. from uh, the lake victoria it's mm -hmm. just called a lake region mm -hmm. uh, here we are just uh, uh, reeling what is called the tilapia fish mostly mm -hmm. because uh, we have uh, points uh, which is the positive impact to them if you only get you know there are two types of uh, tilapia fish when you just uh, get to install oh. we have a uh, we have uh, the genetically modified mm -hmm. uh, fish, mm -hmm. which are uh, good in terms of growing. Mm -hmm. They have a good growth rate, which is high growth rate, okay. and uh, they they persist to many of the diseases. So they can just grow grow very fast with small amount of feed. But we have uh, the local, uh, which are the, called the wild fish, mm -hmm. which are you can just get them from uh, the anyway, river yeah. and you install them uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. So those are they can just bring high competition to your uh, a farm if it's for the uh, market demand because Do they have a high production rate they have a high production rate okay. because uh, uh, they are not uh, genetically modified right. so as they can just uh, uh, have a period of time when they can now just breed uh -huh. because we are the business people mm -hmm. so you install something you know it will just grow as fast as possible so as you can just uh, sell well, them so as you can time, get yeah. that profit and mm -hmm, reinstall mm -hmm. because when you just uh, uh, get uh, when you harvest the mm -hmm. fish ponds you know you clear every water from here you clear water uh, so as uh, now you harvest that uh, cycle of fish you just uh, installed here. yeah, yeah. Right. so as now you can now get another breed and bring and it here it. so as you can now continue the same breed so as you have a specific breed and you know the number of the breed you just got here so as mm -hmm. you can now uh, manage the feeds to them 
Right. So yeah. let me ask you. So, for example, you said this kind of a pond yes. will just take up to 2,000 fingerlings. fingerlings. Yes. So how long does it... You say this is tilapia? The tilapia, you, yeah. The tilapia. Yeah. So which type of tilapia? Because you say two, there are two types of tilapia. Yeah, there are red tilapia uh -huh. and uh, bright uh, black tilapia. So which one do you have here? I have both. You have both, yeah. right? Yeah. So how long does it take for you to have it? To have a it will depend on the feeds. If you use, uh, we have two types of feeds. We have the concentrate feeds. Guys, we are being rained on. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere raining, but uh, that's but, the nature. Yeah, let's just. So, I don't think it's strong here. We can so we it. have two types of feeds. We have the concentrate feeds, mm -hmm. and we have the manual made, which are the human uh, manual made feeds, mm -hmm. which are uh, maybe you can just talk about the maize husks. We can talk about the millet husks. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. those are the man-made. So they are concentrate that are just produced or manufactured right. from uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, manufacturing industries. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So if you use the concentrate ones, uh -huh. you will have a good yield because they are just measured in terms of the in terms of uh, uh, nutrients. Uh -huh. In terms of uh, so you know the nutrients which are the uh, protein, the carbohydrates, and the vitamin E. So the types of feeds also depends on depends. how they they produce. Yeah, right. Because the manual feeds mm -hmm. are just uh, highly concentrated of their proteins mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe some uh, carbohydrates. So most uh, the feeds that we need here is for high proteinous feeds, which are will now keep the body growing as fast as, as possible. possible. Okay. Yeah. So those. Does are, the type of feed also depend on the kind of size that the fish will grow yeah, into? Yeah. 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 Now, uh -huh. when we talk about the concentrate feeds, uh -huh. we talk about uh, uh, three types of feeds. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. In terms of concentrate, we have uh, the starter marshes, uh -huh. we have the grower marshes, uh -huh. and we have uh, the pellets. Okay. Whereby the uh, the first, when you just install the fry or um, uh, the finger links here, yeah. uh -huh. you take uh, uh, about one day when you install, like today. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You take just two days, mm -hmm. you leave them so as if they have stress to compete with their stress so as they can just be now uh, uh, adjust to the climate of here. Right. So now you just introduce to them some feeds. Which the first feed you introduce them, they are just uh, the, 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 which is called uh, the starter marshes, okay. which are somehow in terms of uh, uh, solidity, they are just small. The solid now, mm -hmm. we are talking about this, uh, the, 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 uh, how the particle is. It's just small, yeah, very, very fine, yeah, fine, yeah, uh -huh. fine particles. Mm -hmm. So uh, when they just uh, go up to like a uh, two to three months, now mm -hmm. you start introducing the second, which is the grower marsh. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, uh, the starter marsh, uh, it's just to give them the boost of uh, ability to because stay. Because they also still young and yeah, all that. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. for ability to stay. Uh -huh. And uh, when they just two to three months you now introduce uh, the second which is the grower marsh mm -hmm. so now they can now grow and expand their wow. bodies uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's so this is second. after how long it's there two to three months okay right. so it will depend with their uh, i'll talk about the fertility of the, the of uh, the fish pond now mm -hmm. so if uh, you know now if they are just uh, four five to six months now you start uh, introducing uh, the pellets Mm -hmm. Now the pellets are just uh, somehow big, okay. yeah, particles are just uh -huh. big. Uh -huh. So the aim here, uh, uh -huh. the only idea you go with uh, uh -huh. and to the uh, market is uh, uh -huh. uh, you feed the fish, uh -huh. uh, the particle you just using as a feed, you it will now depend with the, an eye of an, uh, a fish. So well, the eye uh, of a fish uh -huh. is uh, the particle it will just consume. That's I, di the I size. didn't know that the eye has anything to do with the fish. Oh, I mean like when you're going to buy or whatever yeah. with it's you can growing. just check an eye that's then you can know which uh, kind of feeds the fish nah, is yeah eating. yeah that's the particle the feed na the, the the fish now need uh, to consume oh yeah okay, okay so the more that's why you have sampling here mm -hmm. so if they will reach a time whereby you just take one by the use of a hook mm -hmm. so as uh, you can now uh, analyze yeah. and see the size and the grams so as you can now have the more than the median, so as you can now calculate on how you can now grow, uh, you can now feed them with the feed, which is the second one. Oh, right. Yeah. Amazing. And always, amazing. On, on, on always when you are just measuring uh, uh, the fish, mm -hmm. you can now introduce the feed. Uh, if you know you cannot have that time of just uh, sampling, mm -hmm. you can now introduce small, small amount of uh, uh, the feed you want to introduce if it's from uh, the starter mass yeah, you yeah. want to introduce the second one mm -hmm. you throw small then you see if the consumption rate is just good you know they have reached at that time of uh, just consuming that feed 
So how do you know? Because you've been just trying the feed in the water. So how will you know if it has been consumed? The or water, not? The, the 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 feeds we are just feeding here. Uh -huh. uh, if you, when you go to purchase them, uh -huh. they ask you which kind of um, uh, fish uh -huh. you are just going to give. Uh -huh. If you have tilapia fish, uh -huh. uh, always they know. The producers they know uh -huh. it's the, they're just top feeders. So the feeds they are just uh, are going to produce will just be uh, flowing or floating on water. So you will just see the how they are just picking. Oh, they are picking yes. right, right, right. That wow, is it. amazing, amazing. Oh, I was just talking about the fertility of the of the pond. Uh -huh. The fertility of the pond we are just talking about. Uh, Maybe you can be walking around. As okay. You, yeah. The fertility you are just talking about here mm -hmm. is the... Uh, oh, my the, camera now. Camera. <laughs> my camera is, has gone blur because of the rain, but yeah, 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 yeah. we move on regardless. Maybe I can just walk from this side so I can capture the... Uh, the uh, yeah. So the what we are just talking about uh, the fertility of the pond. Mm -hmm. It will now this fertility we are talking about uh, fertilization. Mm -hmm. The fertilization is uh, over two types. Uh. Mm -hmm. We have the concentrate fertilizers, mm -hmm. which are inorganic fertilizers, mm -hmm. and organic fertilizers. Mm -hmm. So, but here mm -hmm. we want to change water into a green uh, a green solution, whereby uh, sometimes uh, maybe I'll just show you some. Uh, uh, videos whereby water is just green. The green content we are talking about uh, is the growth of algae onto the pond. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we use the, the cow dung or humors to enhance the growth of algae. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that uh, the the green content we shall now see at the top surface of the water uh -huh. is the algae. Oh right. That algae uh -huh. is. Uh, it's just good for the first growth of uh, when you're just installing the fish. The fish, so, okay, right. But the fish, the tilapia fish, eat algae unto the entire cycle of life. Oh, they okay. eat algae year to year. From so you the still, start to the so you still always be installing the cow dung to enhance the uh, yeah, the, the growth of algae yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So that's mm -hmm. what we call now the green content uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when it's now. Uh, uh, into water. Mm -hmm. So that green content is what we talk about the algae. Mm -hmm. Now if you want to know mm -hmm. if uh, the algae concentration is of a high good so as you can now uh, leave uh, 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 disposing mm -hmm. the cow dung here. Uh -huh. So you just have a, a, an, a tool by the name the seki disc. Mm -hmm. So that seki disc is just like a ruler whereby you inlize onto the pond and it will now give you the turbidity of, uh, of the, the algae, algae. Oh, so right. if you mm -hmm. don't have that one you can just use an arm mm -hmm. whereby you can just uh, inlize an arm which is if it's just 30 to 40 centimeter okay which is from here to here that's the 30 to 40. Uh -huh, uh -huh. so if it's just uh, you can just dip your arm onto water uh -huh. and you cannot see the, the the fingers are down level now you know the turbidity of a high good so you leave uh, i mean like how will you even reach there because if it's like one point uh, no meters, your arm is just 30, 30 centimeters yeah. Yeah. The, you just uh, you know while you are just in chamber you have to have uh, an overall uh -huh. so anything the practices everything you know you have maybe you have to squat down or you have to lie down so as you can just measure some mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. so like water is just full at this fish pond here mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. so you can just come to this part here where the outlet is wow. you can now come and squat at this point mm -hmm. and in lies you are your, your hand, hand inside in. uh -huh. so if you cannot see the the, the, the fingers uh -huh. the fingers uh -huh. at the deeper side uh -huh. so you know the the concentration of al the concentration of the that green content is over good so it will now have uh, 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 they will now be good in terms of uh, the growth rate of uh, the tilapia fish so, so let me ask you something so the, the algae is it supposed to be in high concentration or there's a certain, a certain level that is not supposed to maybe to pass. Yeah, that's why we are talking about the measuring of uh, using a tool by the name of the sec disc or okay. an arm. Uh -huh. <coughs> so if uh, you can just not see your hand uh, far than the 30 centimeter, uh -huh. you know that concentration of algae is of a uh, good now growth. But if it's over high now, it will now bring, you know, <coughs> there's something you learned about uh, uh, the plants at uh -huh. night. They, consume oxygen yeah so the more the concentration of algae onto your pond it will now compete during the night time with the fish here 
So both will just consume the oxygen. The oxygen. Oh, so, so that's the harmful part of that's it. That's the harmful part. So oh, if right. it's ju just of a high concentration at your pond, mm -hmm. it will bring a risk to your fish yeah, because right. both they consume oxygen oh. during the night session. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. But uh, the good thing of uh, that uh, green content you're talking about, mm -hmm. you know, if you're just throwing here like humans, uh, like uh, the cow dung, so it will just turn water. So if it will now turn water, it will uh, neutralize the water. So the water will have that nutrients favorable for the plants. Mm -hmm. So if you have like nursery beds, maybe seed beds, so you can just use this water that you have been fertilized mm -hmm. and you can now uh, water the seed bed or uh, the nursery bed. So it's a, it has a positive impact. Mm -hmm. So um, good in terms of the growth rate of uh, some plants. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> the another point when you just use the cow dung here, it will now turn that water, that, that the turbidity I'm talking about, the green turbidity. Mm -hmm. So the, it, uh, the fish will not be exposed to the predators. So predators cannot view direct to the fish and, and oh, spot it. Yeah, and spot so it, it right. cannot be spotted. Uh -huh. So that's the good impact of uh, using uh, the cow dung, which is just the green matter. Right, right. And uh, another point about that, you know, uh, uh, the snakes, eh? mm -hmm. the snakes they're not, cannot uh, go hand in hand with the, uh, the cow dung. Really? Of course, yes. So you can never find any snake at that water level, nor uh, uh, alongside the dikes. You is can is, it, is it because of the cow dung, or <coughs> just because? It's because of the cow dung because uh, that uh, scent. The scent. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the end. That's why we are the fish farmers. So you have to have. So oh, much. Wow! Did you ever know that snakes don't like the cow dung smell? I'm mean, like, this is a new thing today. I'm learning. So uh, mostly, uh -huh. you can just uh, interview people uh -huh. who have cows. Uh -huh. So yeah, you, you can never find a snake where uh, the, the, cow cow sleep. the cow sleeps or uh, where the cow dung is just heaped. Uh -huh. So you can never get that one. So that's wow. a hint beyond wow. uh, the wow. expectation wow. of uh, most wow. people should know that one. Mm -hmm. So so what, which are the, any other predator or any other animal that ha that hunts fish apart from the snakes? Okay, uh, we have predators. And the birds. Like, uh, we have birds uh -huh. which are just uh, by the name. Uh, uh, we have what marabou stocks. Yeah, marabou so I you see them, them here all the time. Yeah, yeah you I can see just, them here all the, the time. The, 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 you can just uh, chip onto into uh, its uh, underscore gint. You can see more of uh, those bad uh -huh. predators uh -huh. have uh -huh. ever viewed them. Uh -huh. uh, the marabou stock, we have yeah, the, the heron. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So those are the the the. the the notorious, the, yeah. the notorious uh, bats that uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, risk with them. So, uh, because uh, we have the challenges here, mm -hmm. as you see, you can we can just talk about the challenges. I'm just passing through this uh, mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. So, as you see, my land is just uh, at that of a cuddle tree mm -hmm. up to that uh, tree there that you can just see that tree. Mm -hmm. So, it's uh, up to that far end where there is a guava tree and the tallest tree tree there mm -hmm. so that land passes through that point to the river which is the river youtube mm -hmm. and to this uh, <laughs> river youtube guys yeah <laughs> and uh these are uh, these are uh, called uh, the plantain plantation mm -hmm. whereby mm -hmm. it's just passing through this uh, channel of water that's the where now my plot reaches uh -huh. so uh, as you can see this land is just uh, uh, naked it's not fenced, fenced so right. we have intruders who can just pass uh, uh, and start and fishing trans Trans, uh, you can just talk about uh, uh, crossing from any point, uh, accessing uh, the project. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can never know the demand of person. What yeah, is just true. here for? Uh -huh. What is just passing here mm -hmm. with? Mm -hmm. So uh, the, that's the on the problem or the challenges I'm just facing through. So mm -hmm. I have not fenced the land. Uh, the second is uh, we are just talking about uh, the uh, predators. So the predators, I don't have the predator nets that I could just cover, so as I cannot risk uh, the installation of fish. And, uh, the but the only only predators that you've <coughs> talked about are the birds, the arabu stocks and heroin, yeah, and yeah, also yeah. Some, they, some, uh, sometimes you can just talk about the turtles, but uh, uh, the turtles. Are, oh, well, I, I, I don't I think don't we have turtles here. here. But they're there. They're really? There. They're, maybe there maybe at the time. river. There was a time uh -huh. uh, when I was just uh, uh, renovating the far end uh, fish pond. Mm -hmm. I got uh, uh, some four turtles there. And uh, I caught them. Then uh, I. Where tied, did they even come from? I, we don't know. They are just na it's nature. Okay. So I caught them. Then uh, I tied them. I tied them at their far end there at the avocado tree. How so big were the turtles? They were so big. They were like uh, five kg per each. Ooh. 
They are That's so, a big one. Yeah, they were big. That's a so, big one. So uh, that time, mm -hmm. it was like a 20, 2021, mm -hmm. whereby I am Maro was just starting the construction of this villa. Mm -hmm. So the camera is not here. Wow, the camera guys. I think it's because of the rain. We are being rained on, so yeah. forgive us with so that. <laughs> that time was mm -hmm. when I am Maro was just starting the construction the, the villa. of uh, this villa. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, under the underground now, the ground floor now, mm -hmm. whereby I called him mm -hmm. so as he can, can just come and uh, uh, purchase. Uh, you know, at the village here, we used to know I am Maro could purchase something like wild animals. Yeah, he was just looking if you have a wild animal like... He could a, just passage. Like, you have wild a, animal like what? Who keeps wild animals? Hey, hey, hey. There, uh, <laughs> some, 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 uh, several years ago, uh -huh. uh, there was a, uh, what we call a bush at the far end. Yeah. Whereby so many wild animals were just there. So like What monkeys, kind of animals? Monkeys. Uh -huh. They are wild animals. Uh -huh. uh, like uh, we had cheetahs here. Cheetahs? Yeah. Around people? Of course, yes. Wow, that's very dangerous. Uh, you can never know because it was a bush, uh -huh. very big bush here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that time uh, uh -huh. uh, we called Ayamaro so as uh, we can just tell him that we have uh, some uh, turtles he can just purchase. But at that time <laughs> he had no idea of uh, he will just create uh, maybe ponds or uh, uh -huh. he had uh, water level uh -huh. or he can just create something. So uh -huh. it was just a start of the villa. Uh -huh. So he had no idea. So the idea now I'm just uh, uh, the engineer who is just behind the construction of a new model fish pond at I am Marwa. He is an engineer, guys. Yeah, so <laughs> so uh, by now he's just uh, looking for the turtles. We can just use them uh, as an installation of one fish pond, which is just there. Mm -hmm. But they are now not there now. So we let we let them. I, I think they still come back. I don't know I because don't know. of I've the fish, or maybe. I, I, I mean, like, I've, where did they come from? So they'll still come back. Uh, it, from the <laughs> river, maybe you can just say that way. Yeah, because uh, they rely where water source is. Of course. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. you can never know. You can just find them. Mm -hmm. They're here mm -hmm. by now, but mm -hmm. you can never see it uh, crawling and coming onto of your course, fish pond. So yeah. that's a problem. Besides, <laughs> so uh, in that time, so uh, I. I uh, I untied them say, and uh, I just uh, dropped them uh, to continue with their life. So, but I've never found them when I harvest. I have <laughs> never found them again. <laughs> but that, uh, if you could just pick them at that time, you mm -hmm. could be having them by now. But, yeah. uh, but you let me, them live anyway. Uh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just looking for them now. And I don't have them. And you don't have them. Don't say okay. come back. Maybe you don't know. You never know. Uh, catching <laughs> them is just a problem. <laughs> you know, they sense. Eh? When they I just, sense. Yeah, they sense. Mm -hmm. If I am talking about, I want to uh, uh, get this water uh, out of this pond here now. Mm -hmm. If it's just there, it will sense. Uh, that uh, what is just uh, going out the level is just going down mm -hmm. so it will may m might it might just come onto the dikes here mm -hmm. and it will just hide maybe it will just find a, a possible yeah, way to hide. yeah and hide you will never find it again <laughs> so you'll just withdraw water and you'll never find it uh, at the surface or the ground area <laughs> so okay. at that time mm -hmm. this uh, fish pond was uh, uh, to be renovated mm -hmm. it uh, it has become it had become a bush here mm -hmm. so at that time i was just studying i was uh, uh studying for the catering and accommodation mm -hmm. whereby i left them because uh, i was not here to manage mm -hmm. so when i came back uh, i renovated so that was the time it was a bush mm -hmm. bush like mm -hmm. so i found them here so they never sensed that I was just withdrawing water. Yeah, so yeah. they were just trying to enter, but yeah, it was just a bush. Escape, yeah. yeah, but it was just a bush. <laughs> so you are just uh, going to step uh, forward, then you 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 step on something that's just hard. Uh -huh. So you you jump from water, and you, you are just scared. You think it's just a snake, yeah. but it was just turtles. They are so big. So uh, that's just a forgotten hint. Mm -hmm, eh? mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we are back in uh, the business now. Yeah. So the so you are explaining the challenges and. That those you talked about the predators yeah the predators are yeah. that the second the mm -hmm. third one is just the what we call the feeds eh? mm -hmm. so uh, the feeds are so expensive in terms of oh, purchase right. so if you cannot get the feeds that have been subsidized by the uh, government mm -hmm. it's uh, a very cost in terms of purchasing because wow, if you wow. have uh, the fish like uh, i have installed here 2000 mm -hmm. here 2000 and uh, when i'll just renovate this one i just install 2000 eh? so, so 
way, this is two. They have uh, you, you, you're yet to put 2000 finger finger lids, but there. uh, it, it, they are fish here now already. Yeah, they are fish here. 2000? No, they are 1200, but I will just extend it, I'll just expand it. And also, there are 2000 here, not yet installed, uh -huh. but uh, those I, I want to install 2000. Uh, so, I'm just talking about the fits now, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'll just uh, relate it to what I'm just talking about. Mm -hmm. So if I install here 2000, here 2000, here 2000, we have a, uh, now a total of 6000 eh? mm -hmm. because there are three points. So yeah. the 6000 to manage them, you should have uh, good feeds that uh, they need. Of so, course, yeah. Because yeah. how many times do, have, do they have to feed a day? Twice a day, okay. around uh, 10, 10 a.m. and around 4 p.m. Uh, during the evening session. Mm -hmm. So uh, the bigger they are, the bigger they are, the more, the more the consumption. Yeah, I know. So, but that's why I was just talking about uh, uh, when we are just talking in the local market. Mm -hmm. uh, the small fish pay than the big fish. The small fish pay than the big fish? Yeah. Why? If uh, they just around uh, 120 to uh, 200 grams, mm -hmm. uh, they are just uh, around uh, 150 shillings, which is like uh, one dollar. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, and uh, the consumption the rate, they are just eating the feed. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, the oh, consumption the, rate the uh, big fish take. Oh, I can so, say the expenses are a little bit lower. Yeah, yeah, so, compared but, to, but mm -hmm. compared to the big ones, eh, mm -hmm. they reach at a point where now the growth rate is now minimal. So, they grow with a, a very uh, uh, low pace. Whereby oh, you right. just feed them, feed them, feed, but, but they're, they're not growing, growing very yeah, small, very right. at that time. So mm -hmm. uh, you'll have uh, very more expenses in terms of feeding mm -hmm. uh, uh, the feeds eh, we mm -hmm. are just talking about. Yeah. So, but if they're just small, up to six uh, six months, mm -hmm. the consumption rate is somehow, the, and they're just growing. The growing power is just there, fast, so yeah. it, they grow very fast. Eh? Mm -hmm. So if you can just uh, get from here like uh, two dollars here you get a, a good profit but if you just uh, want for like a uh, four dollars you will have to expense yourself so more but yeah. you'll have good awesome amount at the end mm -hmm. but uh, it's just a low, it take low time. profit yeah, it's a long uh, profit. and it will just take time because yeah. we, it's for the concentrate ones uh, if you have the concentrate feeds mm -hmm. you uh, the point is just one here the concentrate feeds uh, you just take six months mm -hmm. you, you harvest and the fish will be of around uh, uh, three dollars Right. Yeah, two to three dollars uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's the six months uh -huh. but uh, uh if you leave it to have uh, the five dollar year now you'll go to up to ten months and or a year wow. so wow, the, wow, wow. you can just calculate the six months uh -huh. of uh the expenses just, yeah, the six the months of getting just one dollar uh -huh. or a one and a half a dollar uh -huh. uh, or uh, the first six months of getting the four dollars so you can just see yeah, uh, how where the profit now. is yeah, yeah uh -huh. so the the smaller the more the profit yeah the bigger they are the lower the profit but so but how, how is the market how is the market do they how is the, uh the, the the small fish i think the market uh usually uh are for the big fish no really it will depend because because if i will go to the market okay it depends on your family and all that there's so many things that you have to key in but i see that the market for bigger fish is more bigger compared to the small fish and large centers we have a small center here mm -hmm. which is a you know everybody mm -hmm. well uh, you are just starting uh, something yeah mm -hmm. you the first thing you check is the market demand of course our market demand uh, around here mm -hmm. people are just uh, uh, what we call uh, uh, most are just uh, uh, growing in terms of economic mm -hmm. So the economy, how it's just hard, so people uh, go for the cheaper things oh, first. Right, yeah. So our, if it could be a big center or a town or a, a city, we maybe. can just say maybe the big hotels can just uh, purchase yeah, the, the big things. Ones. So, yeah, okay. But here, they're just uh, uh, the Mama and Boga we're just talking about. Mm -hmm. the, the, the local people. The local people. Yeah. yeah so and uh, you just know the children. Eh? Yeah. So we have so many children here. So uh, if you want every every child to have one, so oh, you so not that's go you, for the bigger. The bigger one. Yeah, so you go for the small, small. <laughs> the so small one. Now so everyone to, everyone, to have every, their own. They piece. will compensate everyone. <laughs> so and uh, our 
you know here in africa everyone want if it's just if it's small but i have one full already yeah, yeah but uh, most of the people will just tell you i don't yeah, need a piece, don't oh, have a piece oh she took the head i didn't want the head yeah, i want the, yeah. the middle part so it so. will bring chaos <laughs> into your family so okay. our market demand is mm -hmm. of small small fish which is but, our, uh, which are more profitable at the same time yeah yeah they are mm. more profitable so you have uh, you should have uh, a market demand so at this area here we are that's uh, we are mm -hmm. uh, it's just just a monopoly now i'm just the uh, fish farmer we just here so i don't have competition you don't have competition, have competition. are you serious of course yes i don't have competition. How? You, you're talking about nyabuhansi village yeah, i'm talking about our village here the local market demand i mean this is the uh, these are the only fish ponds at this village of course yes are you serious i'm the only so these one. fish ponds serve the whole of nyabuhansi village the whole of nyabuhansi when the, it reaches a time of harvest I serve the whole uh, center, whereby wow. if I install like this one, eh, mm -hmm. they are just 1,200. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but this one had 1,500 before I, I, I just uh, harvested. Mm -hmm. So that 1,500, mm -hmm. I just add them value. I don't sell them raw. Mm -hmm. I add them value. Mm -hmm. So uh, by the adding of value is just um, uh, uh, I fry before I just sell. I deep fry them before I sell. So why I get, do you defy them before you sell? Uh, because uh, you know our local market here, I, we, that's a challenge now. I'm just uh, I can just say we don't have the deep freezers, mm -hmm. so we can just uh, install or uh, we can just harvest and uh, we we just uh, uh, keep them so as uh, for further consumption. Yeah. But uh, we don't have those uh, deep freezers, so as we can to, just to, yeah, to freezers, preserve them. To yeah. preserve them. So yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we rely on uh, frying them, so it's just a method of preservation. Mm -hmm. Well, we fry them so as uh, people can just take it. So most of our market demand here people rely on something that's just ready for consumption mm -hmm. but uh, the raw fish most of the people say maybe uh, it will give them a hard way of uh, just a bisection or uh, just removing the scales so i remove the scales at this point here so when you harvest them you remove the scales i remove the scale you i remove the intestines uh -huh. uh, which is the, the bisection uh -huh. then i pack them then uh, i salt them at uh, the town uh -huh. so as now i can now uh, begin the session of uh, just uh, what's called the frying session so you are the big fish farmer in this village of course yes <laughs> but <laughs> by now you know i was just investing around um, uh, <coughs> i was installing uh, uh, fingerlings of uh, 1000 uh, 1200 mm -hmm. but by now mm -hmm. i'm going to install 2000 per each fish pond Amazing. where my, by now i'll just increase the demand mm -hmm. of uh, may, uh, sometimes when i harvest uh, some say oh we, we, we could uh, just tell us uh, when they're just over so give us a hint maybe tell us when you are just uh, harvesting tell mm -hmm. us uh, when you are just finishing so mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they come uh, so uh, the, the the demand is becoming so higher than the produce mm -hmm. so i have to produce something legit by this time round which is 2024 Amazing. i'll be harvesting on uh, around uh, uh, i'll install uh, uh, like december mm -hmm. december first or uh, before december mm -hmm. so i'll have the six months when june mm -hmm. i'll just harvest now so uh, <clears throat> i'm trying to capture uh, maybe i am marwa i am marwa here so mm -hmm. uh, i might capture some uh, uh, demand there so if they can just purchase so you know the villa is just on so so at, at this point uh let me just say there's there are some installation there are fish already they are fish, I have in fish the here uh -huh. they are just um uh, approaching four months old uh -huh. uh, these uh, fish are for i am marwa okay the 1200 uh, the 1200 uh, right. for the installation of, of the, 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 the villa which yeah. is the, uh, the, the the ponds which are the flying beam fish pond construction at the i am marwa's villa what about this one does it have fish it doesn't have by now i told you uh, it was uh, around uh, 2000 it, no uh -huh. uh, two weeks ago it was just renovated uh -huh. so i have to fertilize the pond first so as i can now install so i have to have uh, what i was just talking about uh, the green matter here yeah uh -huh. if uh, water now becomes green now i'll just install uh -huh. because when we just bring the fry uh -huh. or um, the fingerlings here uh, they're they're so small very small two days old or three days old 
So when you install them here, mm -hmm. before you introduce the food, mm -hmm. which is the feeds, mm -hmm. which is the concentrate feeds, mm -hmm. they have to feed on that algae for that time before you introduce the the, the other external feed. So the first first thing first they feed on the algae and yes. then they and so then you bring the first uh, yeah, feed. Feeds, yeah. Oh, okay. For that two days, so as a, it can now compensate their stress. You know they have stress when transported. Oh, right. And the, when you just go to the hatcheries, they are just packaged in bags, mm -hmm. a, th a thousand, a thousand per each bag. Yeah. So you transport them from that end to where to you are. Here, it's yeah. like around um, 45 kilometers from here. Wow. So we go for them at the far end uh, hatcheries where we can just get a, mm -hmm. a good quality of tilapia. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, maybe even a challenge in terms of transport. Mm -hmm. So you have to have your own motorbike or a, or a, a vehicle good, good means of transport, uh, means yeah. of transport yeah. so as it will not delay you onto the road mm -hmm. so as you reach here so fast as possible mm -hmm. so as you install them wow. Wow. amazing so this one is yet to be installed with and the fish this one it's not and, yet. and yet this one is yeah. not yet wow. uh, what i'm just waiting uh, is that uh, i just uh, uh, harvest this one mm -hmm. they're just brood fish mm -hmm. so i can just install them at a marrow place mm -hmm. so as now i clear this one and i renovate uh, this uh, fish pond mm -hmm. so as now i will now install as a whole tree wow yeah, this is your own personal project. this is my own personal project yes amazing so how is this business how is this business has been so far uh, the business was just good, mm -hmm. but uh, I started this business so as I can just manage my own uh, things, like uh, the school fees. Uh, uh, I'm the last one, by the way. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. the last one. <laughs> whereby, uh, uh, in terms of a college fee, so I had to pay my own. So my elder brothers, uh, <coughs> somehow we can uh, talk about that. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a man, you have to struggle. You, you are, you cannot depend on anyone else. Mm -hmm. So you even them, they struggle, yeah, yeah, to get where they are. So mm -hmm. you cannot depend on them. Mm -hmm. They have their own issues. Okay. And families. Mm -hmm. So you have to depend on your own. So I, I chose to depend on myself uh, as I was just young, uh -huh. so as I can just grow up knowing mm -hmm. yours is yours. Mm -hmm. But what is not yours is not yours. No yours. Yeah. So, so where did you get all this knowledge about the fish farming and how to do it right? Where when you I, when you know mm -hmm. when uh, it was around 2017 where mm -hmm. I finished my form four mm -hmm. and uh, I just uh, uh, took a, a chance to get into business mm -hmm. whereby I started the loading and offloading of uh, trucks, mm -hmm. the cement trucks. Mm -hmm. So I got some money from there. Then I went to a, a local school mm -hmm. for driving sessions. Mm -hmm. So I did my driving. I uh, I drove more 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 trucks. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I got such amount of money. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, I got an accident. Mm -hmm. So I left in terms of uh, uh, driving. I left the driving. So I saw that was not my passion in terms of driving. Mm -hmm. So so I, I came and I bought this land here. It was just, uh, uh, we can just say about, uh, 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 it was water accumulated here. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a bare it's land. Kind of, kind of swampy or something. Yeah, it's like a swampy yeah, area. Okay. So mm -hmm. it was just a bare land. Mm -hmm. uh, no one was just uh, <coughs> cultivating here. Mm -hmm. So people might, uh, they thought maybe this land will never do anything constructive. So they, so sold, they sold the land at a cheap. cheaper price. Mm -hmm. It was cheap. Mm -hmm. I just say it was just cheap. It, yes, it was just cheap <laughs> at that time because mm -hmm. they never had that knowledge that it could do something best Useful, apart yeah. from just growing rice maybe. Mm -hmm. And this area we are not just ad Good. adjusted in terms of a yeah. rice plantation. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I went and I thought, can I plant here rice? No, mm -hmm. I, I, I talked to myself, I've mm -hmm. never just practiced the rice. Mm -hmm. So can I can I look for an alternative mm -hmm. uh, if it's not rice? Mm -hmm. So I came up with an idea whereby I went to Kisumu mm -hmm. some uh, previous uh, years whereby I went and I saw cages and I saw fish ponds uh, constructed by the government. Uh, the place I went was just uh, by the name of uh, the Juliet Company mm -hmm. that hatches the fish. Mm -hmm. So I, I saw them, they had cages, they, have po they had ponds. So I had an idea, I have a plot somewhere. Uh, and so swampy so mm -hmm. i came and I constructed I this one first uh -huh. so as i can just experience do i have water there was just a swampy of uh, it's just water floating uh -huh. so when i constructed this first fish pond here mm -hmm. it had a lot of water accumulation <coughs> so after i installed fish here 
I got some knowledges now from uh, that uh, Juliet company. Right, so I got so some knowledges from there. So they uh -huh. taught me something, this and this and this. So even the construction, they are the people who just uh, came and showed me this is how you just do because uh, I paid I paid them some something. So uh -huh. uh, they came and they told me I want uh, we want the manpower. The people are just around here. Uh -huh. So it was just one ma man who was just knowledgeable. So you could just uh, show them what to do. So mm -hmm. the manpower was uh, from uh, our Within, local people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they constructed this one. Mm -hmm. And uh, after some two to three weeks, then mm -hmm. I saw, hey, this place even so I can con construct so more. Uh -huh. So I constructed this one mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. So, but this one here, it has like three years now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> constructed it uh, around 2020, mm -hmm. uh, December. Mm -hmm. When Maro was just starting uh, that the villa, villa now, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. this was the point that uh, we, I can just say it has the same year the I am Maro's I am villa. Maro's villa. Uh, it was that time wow. when I constructed this one. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> in that uh, period of time, so I saw it had a profit. So I saw what could I do else because uh, I have left that uh, in terms of driving. Mm -hmm. So. I went to school for catering and accommodation at that time now. Mm -hmm. So I pursued my diploma in terms of uh, catering and accommodation. accommodation okay. Yes. So I'm a chief chef. I serve, I cook, <laughs> and I accommodate you. You have so many skills. So, mm -hmm. yeah, in terms of that. So yeah. in terms of uh, skills, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> even uh, I went for short courses because I wanted to You also to do machinery. Mason. Ma Mason, yeah. No, 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 no. no. I, I see you I building something there. I don't have any idea in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, construction. <laughs> okay, because, okay. Uh, I can just direct, but I cannot do. Okay. I okay. know because. But I, you have the knowledge. You I have, have the what knowledge. What must go here? Yes. This is not but right. But I cannot should... touch anything of uh, masonry. Okay. I don't have any hint about uh, just uh, placing uh, some cement here. Or <laughs> I've never done that. Okay. But I can just direct you on what you can do mm -hmm. because uh, I am a fish farmer. Mm -hmm. I know more about the fish. Okay. So in terms of fish uh, ponds, in terms of cages, mm -hmm. I know more about them because uh, I have been so. I've been for tours for so many places, so I mm -hmm. know more about the, the construction. Mm -hmm. Even when they were just constructing, I was just here looking on how. But when it just constructed this one, the following uh, fish pond, which was this one, I constructed uh, me alone with my manpower. Mm -hmm. So I had a hint on what was just doing. Mm -hmm. So I constructed even this one mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. So I had that only a hint mm -hmm. on what to do, so as I can now implement my own. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was the idea. Wow, wow, amazing, amazing. So, uh, let me just ask this uh, question. Yes. So, how many retakes? Because, of course, you've been having some guidance to do. Is there any way, is there any time at a point that you had done everything right, but you end up having a loss? <coughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, I invested um, the both three uh -huh. uh, once. Uh -huh. So, 1,000. Uh, fingerlings, 1,000 fingerlings, 1,000 fingerlings. fingerlings uh -huh. So uh, that time I was now called uh, for the pursuit of education. Mm -hmm. So I left them and uh, no, under no care, uh, under one personnel okay. care. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, it was just uh, we can just say a drunken man. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. when I went, uh, mm -hmm. uh, things uh, never went good. Uh, so I mm -hmm. stayed there for like uh, four months mm -hmm. before I could now come. So I was just uh, sending some money so as you can just purchase the feeds. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, the money was just going for his family, but it was Whoa. not uh, for So the, the fish cattle. were not fed? I came here and I found uh, this fish pond. Uh, it has no water. This one, the fish are uh, stunted to growth. What? Started to go after four months. So I came and I started afresh, whereby this fish pond went dry. Uh -huh. For sure, it went dry. Where did the water go? I, I mean, never like... knew, uh, maybe, I, I never knew what was the problem at that time. Uh -huh. So I came and uh, I found that the predators have just ate everything and they're just stepping onto the water because yeah. the water level was just low. Uh -huh. And this one, they were, the uh, water was just full and this one, water was just full, but uh, uh, the fish were instanted growth. Mm -hmm. uh, four months, you know, I came here and I said uh, I want to finish uh, because uh, it was just the first semester, two months home. So as I, when I return, I shall have uh, harvested. So they are just for six months. So I came when I, they were just four, so I can just stay here for two months. So I can just harvest them and sell and go back to school. Mm -hmm. Hey, 
something okay. was wrong. Uh, so uh-huh. it was just like uh, starting it uh, again and uh-huh. again and again. Uh-huh. So that was a big mess I, I ever done. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, most of the things and most of uh, some uh, prospering companies, uh-huh. uh, the owner must be on point, uh-huh. on foot with the with his own ambitions and the project. Uh-huh. So if you are not there and your things, so they, you want your things of to course, be done. Of course, yeah, yeah. They never work. It, it never works. You, you have to be there person, on the ground to survey. That person is never serious, mm-hmm. like uh, how you, you, you demand it to be. Mm-hmm. So you are the only person who is just serious for your project. It's true, but yeah. other person are not so serious. Yeah. I can just tell you they are not serious and you cannot uh, say this uh, for my brother or this is for my friend. Mm-hmm. But what they know is uh, uh, at the far end, they just uh, say, I have my salary after a month. Maybe. Yeah. So uh, the other thing. Th- that's so just... sad. I think that's the nature of any kind of. Uh, Most of human beings. Uh, yeah, have. any kind of so, employment and all that. It's always the same. Yeah. The employees. That's, I think that's the nature of any. So any that's kind why of now yeah. I, I talked about uh, previously about um, uh, I left uh, the ponds and they went in. They they, they became bushy. Mm-hmm. So I I harvested them. So they were so small after six months because I could not leave them here mm-hmm. and I go back to school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I harvest them if whatever they could be, small size they could be. You so, had just to harvest yeah, them. Yeah, but uh, imagine one I was just selling 30 bob shillings. 30! Oh my goodness! <laughs> 30 shillings. That's and that's so sad. 30 shillings. Uh-huh. That, 30 shillings. Uh-huh. I have uh, added them value by frying. <laughs> By frying, I can them. just imagine. I, can <laughs> I just fried, imagine. I fried them, and I was just uh, selling at that, which is just uh, like uh, how much in terms of US dollars? Thirty shillings. Uh, in terms of US dollars. Uh, I'm not good into converting, uh, but uh, zero point something. Zero. <laughs> zero, some cents, imagine. Uh-huh. Yeah, so <laughs> you can imagine. So <laughs> I went a big loss because. Uh, I had used money for installation, mm-hmm. <coughs> I had used money for fertilization, mm-hmm. I had used money for rehabilitation mm-hmm. because uh, when you harvest you have to rehabilitate the pond mm-hmm. and uh, you will fill it with water again so as you can now install other fish. Mm-hmm. So that money went for a loss mm-hmm. and this fish pond uh, uh, went a loss totally and this one and this one I was just selling at 30 bob shillings. So, so let me ask people you, let enjoyed, me... <laughs> by, by that time <coughs> I was just crying. But people, people are really mass- enjoying, I, they are enjoying because so it's, it's much. Cheap. It's cheaper than anything else. <laughs> so they enjoyed. Even they are just asking me, "Hey, uh, when are you, you going that? to, to you drop the that prices?" Of time? Uh-huh. Ah, you 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 brought here something good, so we could just uh, capture. You can uh-huh. just buy as much as possible. Uh-huh. For you can just you can just say uh, you can now b- purchase because you can never know if I can just go back or uh-huh. I will not go back. So uh-huh. you purchase a lot of. Uh, fish mm-hmm. fried mm-hmm. and you go out to preserve them so they they were purchasing a lot so i can just uh, get around uh, uh, 300 fish from here mm-hmm. uh, and i go and uh, i just fry them at the center mm-hmm. around one hour one hour 30 minutes mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. they are finished from my um, mm-hmm. my marketing place mm-hmm. so people are, i could just say that person has a market eh? mm-hmm. but and to me, uh-huh. it was a very, very big loss. Uh-huh. I will never forget that time. So that's when I just left the ponds to be bushy so I could now go and learn. But that man was so minute for me because I could not expect such money. I know, I yeah, know. So, so, so let me ask you this other question. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's kind of a stupid question, but yes. I just want to ask. Do, do they have any kind of uh, pests or diseases that uh, affect fish? Yeah, they are there. Uh-huh. In terms of um, when we are just uh, using some feeds that are not uh, uh, recommendable for the growth of some fish, mm-hmm. uh, like uh, if you can just use the maize husk. So, you know, some maize husk, they just uh, uh, sink into water. Mm-hmm. So if they go at the uh, bottom of water, they go there and uh, uh, they just rot mm-hmm. at the bottom there. So mm-hmm. they bring some uh, uh, gases from there, which is, uh, they now dissolve, uh, they, they, they rot mm-hmm. and... Uh, yeah, they just uh, start producing some um, uh, pollution, which is uh, like uh, uh, some chemicals, mm-hmm. uh, ke- pos- uh, substances, uh, okay. chemical p- substances at the ground, mm-hmm. where now they just create something by the name hydrogen sulfide at the bottom of, of the, the water. Uh-huh. Uh, so mm-hmm. that uh, uh, hydrogen sulfide, 
will just now penetrate to all section of water. Now it has now diluted with water. Mm -hmm. So they just suffocate the fish or kill them. So that's uh, the biggest uh, uh, thing we should uh, be care of because uh, they are top feeders. Uh, but uh, the catfish are bottom feeders. So mm -hmm. it will now depend on what you have just invested. So if it's just still up here, you should use the floating feeds only. But uh, the feeds that are just going uh, onto the surface, they're not recommended because they can just uh, now uh, rot and uh, bring some uh, yeah. substances so they just kill you just wonder what's the problem with my fish yeah i'm coming and uh, i'm just uh, uh, seeing my fish are They're just dead. floating yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so you can just uh, wonder why because it's you alone who just uh, made that because mm -hmm. if you don't have any hint about that mm -hmm. you can have uh, go to a mess Amazing. so uh, there are so many uh, some diseases like um, uh, you know sometimes you can never know the diseases that they're, they're just suffering from mm -hmm. but uh, when you see your fish are just uh, uh, crowding where the uh, the inlet water is, mm -hmm. you know there is a problem with, in terms of maybe oxygen or uh, the, the 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 algae have just now mm -hmm. become mm -hmm. so. Just give me a minute. Let me just pick this call. Yes. Yeah, we are just talking about um, uh, the uh, uh, or the crowding of fish mm -hmm. uh, at the uh, entrance of water, mm -hmm. which is the inlet. Mm -hmm. So. If you see they are just crowding at the entrance of water, okay. so you know there's a problem with maybe oxygen concentration or that there's uh, something wrong with maybe pollution of water. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can now just manage. Uh, and uh, the things that are uh, just common, co co they're just a uh, uh, common mm -hmm. sense you can just apply, mm -hmm. whereby you can now see the fish are at one place. So you'll just know if eh, maybe these are uh, there's something wrong with them. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and if you see some fish are just uh, some are uh, uh, of a, uh, uh, a group and one is just uh, alone, uh, alone mm -hmm. at a long period of time, not uh, uh, in heat, uh, interacting, interacting with others, with others mm -hmm. so there's a problem with that. Mm -hmm. So when you're just a farmer of a, or a fish farmer, you should be so keen in terms of uh, looking at uh, the pond and how the movement is just ongoing. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can now know there is uh, some uh, problem with the, maybe the water or there's a problem with the fish. But knowing what uh, maybe the problem with uh, maybe it, if you are the sea, it, it's sick, you can never know about that. So mm -hmm. you just see and uh, you just the behavior and the observe. Behavior, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the only thing is just observing. Mm -hmm. Observing. That's right. the main idea about that. Right, so guys, we've really learned so much about fishing today and thanks to our guy here for the knowledge that has impacted on us and also for the amazing work that he's doing with Ayamara's Villa and maybe you can give yourself a shout out. Okay guys, how are you? <laughs> it's underscore Gintu, which yes. is the G-I-N-T-U, uh -huh. it's underscore Gintu. Yes. For more videos in terms of um, fish farming, for more videos in terms of uh, the construction of our uh, fish, uh -huh. in terms of production, in terms of installation, in terms of uh, anything uh, that's uh, just uh, going on with on with uh, the fish farming, uh -huh. you can just uh, chip onto my channel. You can, shall know more about the fish farming right. and more about the rearing of fish with the tilapia fish and more other. Uh, uh, I'll just now be broadcasting more of uh, the, the the standard. Uh, uh, ponds and the standard cages and what they just rare. Mm -hmm. I'll now be bringing you more and uh, very valuable things about the fish farming projects. Amazing, amazing. It's underscore Gintu. Gintu. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Guys, please check out uh, for more information, for more knowledge. If you want to study about fishing and everything, uh, just everything is just explained over there. Please visit our cha his channel. Sorry, yes. support this guy. He's an amazing person. So that has been about today, and uh, I hope you've enjoying this blog. You, you had a lot of knowledge about fishing and all that. It's your girl Tracy Ken. See you next time. <laughs>